Revenue Chat Episode 148. Hey guys, Tony D'Urso here, and I have to say thank you. Thanks a million. A million downloads, that is. Go to TonyDurso.com slash donation and read all about the exciting next adventure we have in store for you. That's Tony, D-U-R-S-O dot com slash donation. And once again, thanks a million. This is Revenue Chat Radio with your host, Tony D'Urso, interviewing successful entrepreneurs and giving you actionable advice and insights. Let's rev it up. Welcome to this episode of Revenue Chat. I'm your host, Tony D'Urso. I'm going on television in the near future as Revenue Chat TV. I'll be broadcasting over many platforms such as Amazon, Apple, Roku, the Voice America TV network, and others. My show format will inevitably change a little as I may ask guests to help solve current business and marketplace issues. Now, regardless of any adjustments, you continue to get experts in their field who share their knowledge with you, the Revenue Crew audience. And when it goes live, you'll see them on my mobile app at tonydurso.com slash mobile. Download that now, and you will see and hear my other weekly talk shows. Currently, column one is The Spotlight, which focuses on high-profile celebrities who give great insight on their journey to success. You get good advice and information that you can use in your life and business. And column two has my Revenue Chat radio podcasts, such as this show you're listening to now. And when the TV show comes on, you'll catch it on this app. So please go ahead and download it at TonyDurso.com slash mobile. All right, Revenue Crew, let's rev it up. Here we go. Today, we set the stage for Revenue Chat with Mitch Russo talking about creating accountability partnerships. And for our Revenue Crew audience, here are some facts about Mitch. He's an author of the number one bestseller, The Invisible Organization, How Ingenious CEOs Are Creating Thriving Virtual Companies. He's co-founder of Time Slips Corp., which grew to become the largest time-tracking software company in the world before it was sold in 1998. He's a past president of Business Breakthroughs with Chet Holmes and Tony Robbins with nearly 300 people and about $25 million in sales. And now he's rocking it at Results Breakthrough at TonyDurso.com slash results, R-E-S-U-L-T-S. And he's helping to create accountability partnerships. Mitch Russo, welcome to Revenue Chat. Hey, Tony. Thanks for inviting me and thrilled to be able to get a chance to talk a little bit about all the cool stuff that's going on. Well, very good on that, Mitch. And you know, that is a great list of accomplishments that I just read off. And I'd love it if you could take us through a journey of what is an accountability partnership and also what made you get into this world with everything else that you've done in your life? <laughs> that's, a, that's a great question. So I'll start with the definition of an accountability partner. It's kind of self-explanatory. You basically find somebody who is willing to hold you and keep you accountable and who's willing to take the time and work with you to make sure that you hold to your commitments and this is no minor task. I mean, it's it doesn't take long. It only takes maybe 15 or 20 minutes a week. But if you know that you are going to answer to a partner who is going to basically check in with you and see if you accomplished what you said you would last week, you'd be surprised how motivating that is to get it done. So you don't look like an idiot when you get on the phone with this person. Does that make sense? 
Yes, it does. You know, and I've been through your website very thoroughly. I've listened to the little video there. I've gone through your facts and questions. And I want to dissect all of this in just a couple of moments because I have a number of questions. And I really want to discuss how that relates to, to our business and so forth. But there's one thing I'd like to bring up first, which probably is a nice lead in. You know, I've been looking around. I see few people. Let me repeat that. I've seen less people are reading actual books based on reports from multiple sources. And, you know, it seems more and more people are more involved in watching videos and social media. And I guess they wish to be spoon fed the information versus do something themselves. And now, based on all of this, it appears more and more people are not completing the courses that they purchase. And, you know, I was just looking it up earlier today. In the case of MOOC, which stands for Massive Open Online Courses That's Gone Mainstream, there's some Mm -hmm. facts. More than 90% of those that start a class don't finish it. Mm -hmm. A majority of those that register for a class don't take it. And a good number of those who finish a class don't sign up for another one. These are their statistics. So Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you, Mitch, why do people seem to have so much difficulty completing the courses they get, whether it's free or they purchase? Well, you know, I I think it's a great question. And I think the answer is that it's a little bit part of human nature. You know, when I say that, what I mean is that, look, we're all busy people. We all have businesses and jobs and families. And the time that we, good intentions are, I'm going to take this course, but then what happens is that you get caught up in things. You know, today we have a name for that. We call it shiny object syndrome. But realistically, it's we've been distracted as as human beings all of our existence. Uh, and it's this distraction that causes so much of our inability to f- finish things. And, and that's kind of what happens to most of us. I'll give you a statistic as well. Uh, over the last five years, the um, the internet has been the place to sell a training program or a course. And the way that people sell them is with, is with launches. So they do a launch. So what is a launch? A launch is that they send you a bunch of videos and a bunch of emails and they entice you, they sell you on buying this amazing product and they give you all these bonuses for buying this amazing product. And then you're told that it's going to go away if you don't buy now. So there's all this scarcity. And you think to yourself, you know, I've always wanted to learn how to market on LinkedIn or how to build Facebook ads that work. And and here's this course and look at all the bonuses. And, you know, I don't really have $2,000, but uh, maybe I'll take the payment plan or maybe I'll put it on my credit card and and just make the payments because this is going to go away. And they go and they buy that program. So let's follow the path here. Three things basically have taken place after you own that program and a month goes by and you haven't done much with it. Number one, you're still making payments on that course for most people. Number two, you're feeling bad and even guilty for having wasted that money knowing that you can't get a refund in most cases. Number three, you're not getting the benefits of that course that you just bought and paid for knowing in advance that you need what that course teaches. Why is it, do you think, Tony, that we all do this and yet we know we're doing it? It's not like it's a secret. How come we we continue to buy these courses even though the odds of us finishing are so low? And we know that the odds of finishing are low. Why do you think we do that? That's a great question back to me. I have a course that that I obtained of something I really, really wanted. And I've actually started the course and worked on it. And I love it. I love the course. I have everything great to say about it. And I must embarrassingly say, I did not finish it. And it's still sitting there. And it's long since forgotten, probably because I've added too much workload. And there are other courses that I see, but I I already know enough that I'm unable to commit to the time that is, is needed because of my schedule, I'm trying to, for me personally, I'm trying to bring things back. So I'm not doing six days a week. I want to, you know, cut things back to have more time for family. So for me, there's that sort of thing. And of course, 
hiring more more assistants to take care of duties. But it's very interesting because for me, you know, I really want to do this and I really like it, yet I did not finish it. And it's very strange because before this, my track record has been 100%. I finish everything that I start. You know, I'm the same way. I, I finish everything that I start, but I have courses I haven't finished either. So how about if I said to you, Tony, I'm going to call you up every Friday and I'm going to ask you to work with me to help me finish the course and I will work with you to help you finish your course. Do you think we could do that together? That's very, very interesting concept where it's sort of like a buddy mentorship system. Yep, yep. Very exactly. cool. Very cool. I think that's very good because we all need support. We literally cannot do everything ourselves. Otherwise, we would be the most wonderful, great, successful being I think ever. Not There's not one person ever that I've interviewed out of hundreds of people that I've had great pleasure and great conversations with. Not one person has a perfect life. Not one person has been given everything. Every single person, bar none, Mitch, every single person has had times where they've had to fight and push and struggle. And most of them in the interviews I've had, most mentioned that they've had a mentor help them. So why not have a mentor help you in finishing your class just a couple minutes a week? I think that's actually brilliant. Well, let's add another factor to it. Let's say that not only will I help you do it, but we will work together inside of a system that has structured accountability questions and allows us to type in the answers to these questions and then keep a record of them and rate our statistics every week and build a dashboard of all the things we accomplish week after week. Do you think that would be useful too? I think I would be a master pianist now. <laughs> <laughs> Not even joking, because there is a master pianist that I know who's invited me to take a class, which is not very inconvenient. I would love to learn to play piano really, really well, but it's just never been a possibility because of perhaps the time and other factors. I think with a system like that, basically my answer is, I think I would be higher in proficiency at different subjects that I really, really like, enjoy, and want to be, and want to become better at. I think so. I think that's a winner. Of course. So you know the author, Daniel Pink, right? I've heard the name. I haven't read his material. Daniel Pink is, he's a fairly famous author. He has a new book. It's called When. It's a great book. I want to read you one small paragraph from that book. Here it is. We're far more likely to stick to a goal if we have someone holding us accountable. One way to surmount a slump is to tell someone else how and when you will get something done. So now let's take that idea and let's put it into a system. Why don't we do that every week? Why don't we keep track of the things that we say we're going to get done and actually measure how much of what we get done we are getting done and the effect that it's having on our lives. So for example, it's one thing to get stuff done, but are you making more money? Are you losing more weight? Or have you consumed less carbs? Think of any parameter in your life you like to measure. That's what my system does, Tony. And that's why it's now in the patent office with a patent being applied for, because what I've done is I've found a way to take what I think of as a somewhat nebulous task and create a system around it that is trackable, that is easy for people to follow, and basically is, is very, very inexpensive to do. So, but I wanted to also tell you the story behind it. You asked me that second question, do you remember? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell you the story, because there's another part to this whole program that I built that I haven't shared with many people, and I want to share it with you. We've been friends now for a while and, and this is going to be something I don't believe I've told you. When I was in high school, I got, uh, I got into trouble. I got into trouble with drugs. And uh, one thing led to another, and I found myself with a needle in my arm shooting heroin. And I was only 16 years old. And there was a point in this journey where I almost died. And it was because of a poison uh, put into the uh, heroin that I bought. 
And it was a phone call that rang at my house at the moment that I was about to plunge this needle into my arm. And that phone call was nothing but clicking. So I picked up the phone and I said, hello, hello. And I heard the clicking and I said, hello. And all I heard was tick, 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 tick. So I stayed on the line for an extra second. And then finally, when I realized there was nobody there, I hung up the phone and I went to resume the task of putting the needle in my arm, but it had gelled solid. If that phone had not rung at that moment in time, Tony, I would have injected that fluid into my arm and it would have gelled inside of my veins and probably in my heart and killed me within 15 or 20 seconds. Oh my goodness, that's that's outrageous. What a story. Well, you know, Tony, it's as it if the universe called you to stop you since there was nobody on the line. Exactly. I know who that call came from. I believe that that was God or the universe or whatever or whatever name you want to assign, I know where that call came from. And I broke down and started to cry and said, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to die a junkie. I have a productive life in front of me. I'm only 16 years old. I got to stop this now. And, you know, it was end up, what ended up happening is I did stop for a while. And then my mom found out about it and she put me in rehab, which I needed. And I ended up dropping out of life for 18 months and going through rehab. And here's the thing that happened after rehab. Is it true that a majority of new businesses fail? Check this out. In order to have a successful growing business, there are some vital points that you must know. You must have worked them out thoroughly. They must be synchronized with each other and all employees, consultants, and companies that you depend on must know these items and be in agreement with them if your new business is to meet with a high percentage of success. Get it free. The Vision Map. Beat the odds for business success at TonyDurso.com slash vision. Learn how to establish your vision, purpose, long-term objective, and master plan, including strategic and tactical planning. Get the vision map. Beat the odds for business success at TonyDurso.com slash vision. V-I-S-I-O-N. Hey guys, if you sometimes wonder how to get funding for your startup or even to keep your small business rolling, I know this scene. And I've got a great answer. Cabbage. No, not the food, but the money. That's right, money. Look it up. Yes, Cabbage, with a K, has the answer. Cabbage helps small business owners access simple and flexible funding right away without the headaches that come with applying for a traditional loan. And you can apply now online or from your phone by securely linking your business information to get an automatic decision. We all like automatic, right? Once you're approved, you choose when to use your funds and how much to take. You only have to pay for the funds you actually use. I like that. Visit cabbage.com slash revenue chat. There's no cost to apply or set up your line of credit. As a revenue chat listener, when you qualify for funding, you'll get a $50 Visa gift card you can use anywhere, even if you want to buy some of my books. Okay, just kidding. Well, kind of. That's Cabbage with a K. K-A-B-B-A-G-E dot com slash Revenue Chat. You'll remember that K, right? Cabbage dot com slash Revenue Chat. Hey guys, Tony D'Urso here, and I have to say thank you. Thanks a million. A million downloads, that is. Go to TonyDurso.com slash donation and read all about the exciting next adventure we have in store for you. That's TonyDurso.com slash donation. And once again, thanks a million. And we're back with Mitch Russo, who tells us about creating accountability partnerships. I graduated this rehabilitation program for drug addiction, a healthy, happy, 
confident young man, ready and focused to take on life. It was an amazing transformation because I poured myself into it because I wanted to do it after I realized what the what the chances are of me going back to using using drugs again. So the reason I'm telling you the story is, and this is going to play out in a moment. So I'm building this program called ResultsBreakthrough.com, all about accountability and all about accountability partners. And we have a beautiful community that surrounds this program. So we have people in there who are looking to do the same thing we all are, which is to stay accountable and celebrate our wins and talk about our, our issues with it. But there's a third element of this program that came to me just a few months ago. And it came to me through the help of a friend. We're sitting and talking, and my friend Yannick Silver and I are chatting, and he said to me, you know, where is the give back in all of this? Where is the part where you create an evolved enterprise? And I said, you know, you're right. It's, it needs that. We have to do that. And as we spoke, it dawned on me exactly what this needed to be. And he came up with the term 10-minute mentor. So listen to this, Tony. What we're going to do is for every person who joins the Results Breakthrough Network, we're going to give you the chance to check a little box on your profile that says, I want to be a 10-minute mentor. And what that means is that you will be uh, able to communicate with an inner city high school kid who has big business dreams but no adults to talk to. And for 10 or 20 minutes a month, it would be incredible if you wanted to actually connect with a, a young person, a, a teen in high school, and just be a little bit of a mentor for that person. Just hear them out and listen to them. Maybe no one else in their life will. And here's the, the loop back to the beginning of the story. Tony, what would have happened if I would have had a 10-minute mentor? Wow. First, I must say that your story is astounding, Mitch, and I truly appreciate you sharing that with with me and with us. What a story! I'm 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 really 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 impressed by that. Incredible, and I totally understand the accountability. Had I had a mentor, I would have had what I think a better path when I went through a very tumultuous teen and preteen life, which I write about separately. I think a mentor is very, very important. I mentor someone who's done very, very well in his business, and I see the importance of that. I would love to do that. I would love to help someone just because I know so much, and I that's why I do my radio shows now and, and everything, Mitch. I want to give back. That's why I do this. I want to share back. But one other thing I want to ask about to make sure I understand I have a class, I have a course, I have a couple, one on leadership and one on setting up a business. How do I, and in the Revenue Crew audience, there are a number of entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, small business owners, and other corporate executives. How do we get our course into the mix? Can you explain that process as well? I know I've given you a lot to do, a lot to answer all at once. (laughs) Sure. So first of all, that's exactly how we build relationships is if you're in the audience and you have a course or a program and you love the idea of bolting on a full accountability system so that your students can do a better job and could excel and complete the programs that you sold them, then all you got to do is reach out to me and I'll set you up for free. I'll make sure that you basically get uh, to use my system for your students for and, and offer it to your students absolutely free because 30 days later, they're going to love it. And 30 days later, they're going to enroll. And then we both make a little bit of money. And that's that's the goal. Okay. Now, as a mentor for the results breakthrough system, I would mentor just one student a month. When when you sign up to be a 10-minute mentor, you basically would be assigned one student per month. That's right. And you could spend 10 minutes a month or 20 minutes or once a month or twice a month, whatever you like. But as a accountability partner inside of the Results Breakthrough Network, you can have as many accountability partners as you want. You might have a different accountability partner for your diet a different for your exercise, a different one 
for your courses and training programs. You could have one for as many different areas of your life that you would want a separate accountability partner for. I love it. So to make sure I understand as well as our audience, the 10-minute mentor for a student is on the side, which is not really the correct wording, is, is in addition to everything else. That's just to help and give back. But otherwise, for what you want, for what you as an individual want for your life, your business, your relationship, you can get a, a mentor, an accountability partner, as you call it, for any facet you want. I'm just going to make this up. I want to lose weight. I would love to have somebody talk to me once a week and inspire me, but I also want to take some classes. And it's very tough because I'm learning how to do architectural drawing, which so I'd love to have somebody help me. So I could actually pick several people to help me on several goals. Is that right? That's right. As long as you're willing to help back, there's no limit to the number of accountability partners that you can have. Okay. But but you don't have to help back on something that you're not an expert in. It would be on something that you're you know and you would like to do. Is that right? Well well, this is what it comes down to. This is a partnership. In essence, somebody can help you without actually knowing exactly the field that you're in. So so here's what I mean. You get to write your own accountability questions. That's the only true way that this can ever work because you have to tell your partner what you want to be held accountable for. So you get to write those questions. You get to say, you know, in a list of questions, you get to to decide what it is that you want people to ask you every week. And then they ask you those questions and you have to answer yes or no. And if you say, no, I didn't do it, then you have to tell your accountability partner why you didn't do it. And then you have to commit to when you're going to do it again. I like that, Mitch. Yes, it makes sense. And the platform for this, is this all typed communication back and forth via the system? Or is this can be on the phone or Skype or whatever? It's both. So the idea is, is that you get on the phone, Skype or Zoom together, you open up the computer and you share a systemized, and this is again, part of what I've created. You share screens. It's not like you're sharing them like on Skype, but you're logged into your portal and your partner is logged into their portal. And you both are working from what looks like the same screen. So you type into your screen and it shows up on their screen automatically. So you're answering the questions. I'll give you an example of suggested questions that are built into the system. So here's a couple of questions. What did you attempt to accomplish since the last time we spoke but have not? So if you got on the phone and you asked me that question, I would tell you and we would talk about it. And you would probably at that point encourage me to set that as my accountability goal for next week to get that done. Right? I got you. I got you. Very clever, bitch. Very cool. And I want to throw a little twist in this, if I may. Mm Mm-hmm. Do you use this system yourself or do you do something else for you yourself as a person to stay accountable? I use this system with my accountability partner every single week. And I do it because, frankly, I, I built it, frankly, for, for my own purposes. And then it expanded as we saw that other people wanted to use it too. So another good question, this is one of my favorite questions, is what are you most grateful for right now? You ask somebody that question and it puts them immediately into the mindset of appreciation and gratitude. And it really allows them to start the session with the best feeling of, of these are the things I'm grateful for. And sometimes, you know, even if I'm having a bad day, I could always find something that I'm grateful for. I like that a lot, Mitch. Now I want to compare this to a coach Mm -hmm. or a coach, a consultant, a mentor and so forth. There are different names and there are slightly different purposes, but more or less they're they're someone that takes you by the hand and helps you get the work done and achieve the goals that you want. Is This is sort of like a miniature version of a coach or is it like a full-fledged mentorship program? Can you help compare this to that and give us maybe any pros and cons on it? Of course. Now, uh, if I had a choice of getting an accountability partner or a coach, I would choose a coach. And the reason I would choose a coach is because I'm choosing a coach 
that is going to accelerate my progress from point A to point B with experience and skills that I have not yet developed. That's, in my opinion, what a coach does. And that's what I do for my clients. What an accountability partner does is it keeps you on track, it keeps you focused, it keeps you motivated, and it prevents procrastination. A coach can do that too, but why pay two to $5,000 a month when you could just match up with somebody else for basically $33 a month in my world and have that same basic thing going on? So a mentor is someone who has an occasional conversation and sort of steers you in the right direction, coming from a place of, of wisdom and experience. Generally, you, don't, you can't pay for a mentor. Generally, a mentor comes and goes in people's lives. Unless, of course, there's a formal relationship, at that point, they become a coach. So my system is a low-cost but very powerful peer-to-peer -peer system for people matching up and working together. I love it. And in terms of having a class or a topic, it, it doesn't matter. It's all based on the person really wants someone else to be there and help motivate them, inspire them, and get them to go to the next level, whatever it is that they're trying to achieve in their life. I get it. I get it. This is great. Well, I'll give you an example. I just uh, I just signed on with a new partner, a gentleman named Charles Bird. He has a great program called Zero to 60 with Evernote. I highly recommend the program. But what Charles did is he said, well, I'm going to give you all of the accountability questions for all of my students. So what we did is we loaded up all his questions and we put them directly into the resultsbreakthrough.com system. So now when his students come in, all they have to do is click on his course and it preloads their sessions for each week that they're studying each module. Oh my goodness. Let me get my wits wrapped around this from the point of view of I have a class that I am selling and there's a number of entrepreneurs in the audience, as we discussed, that have the same. How do we get our, can we, and how do we get our course courses into the system and set up that way? This is brilliant. Thank you. You just got to ask your friend Mitch to do it for you. That's all. Okay. Well, hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask our friend Mitch to take our class, take our materials. What about someone that has is really good and procrastinate and has not created that course of how to be the best dot, 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 and XXX. How about someone that's got this great stuff, is really good in their field, but has not created a course? Is there any assistance that they can get? Well, once again, if, if you feel like you know what you need to do, but you just haven't figured out how to stop procrastinating and get it done then you get yourself an accountability partner, someone who will hold you accountable, someone who you'd be willing to hold accountable to what their goals are, and you get it done. Now, Tony, if you're lacking the skills to do it, if you don't know how to build a course, well, that's another story. Then you find somebody, and I know plenty of people who I, I'm sure would love to have a referral, who would literally build the course with you and for you as part of how they make a living. I like that. Well, did you hear that, Revenue Crew audience? If you have a good course idea, you're good at something, you've always said, God, I should teach some I should teach this to other people. Because there are tasks that some of us can do very, very simply. My wife, she can draw like amazing. I don't think I can draw as well. There some people can play the piano. Some people can play the guitar and sing at the same time. And I'm not making a joke about it because it's much more difficult than meets the eye. For you that is very good at your subject, if you want to make it into a class, let's ask Mitch for help and see if he can refer us to someone that can take that great idea and then put it into the accountability system. I think that's very good. I'm, I'm definitely going to ask our Revenue Crew audience to look further into this. Absolutely. And I'd be happy anybody who would like to reach out to me who hears this who hears this radio show, by all means, is it okay if I uh, use my email address, Tony? Sure. Absolutely. Please. Sure. So anybody who'd like to reach out to me, just write to Mitch at MitchRusso.com and ask me a question. I don't mind. And I'm, I'm thrilled, happy to get your 
communication and provide you with anything I can to help you. I love it. Well, Mitch, I truly appreciate that. I did not have that concept like I do now. I've been through your site. I've seen the video. But sometimes you have to go over material a few more times and really get it. And I now have it on, let's say, a higher level. This is a great system. Thank you. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. And I want to thank you so much for hanging out with us and explaining this on Revenue Chat. Just really, really love it. Thank you so much, Mitch. You are very welcome, Tony. And I want to invite anybody who would like to check out the system themselves to go to Tony, D-U-R-S-O dot com slash results, R-E-S-U-L-T-S. And tell me what you think. I mean, we, we'd love to have you. Excellent. That is quite a remarkable interview and quite some great information. And once again, I want to thank you, Mitch Russo. We talked about creating accountability partnerships. Website is Tony, D-U-R-S-O dot com slash results, R-E-S-U-L-T-S. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, and stay tuned to our next show on Revenue Chat. If you like this interview with Mitch, would you kindly give me a review on iTunes? It's the purple icon on your Apple device. A sentence or two is just fine. Thanks in advance. And our next episode is with Peter Gantner talking about collaborating to launch your business. Some facts about Peter? Well, the combined wholesale sales from his previous traditional companies were more than $70 million in the U.S. market alone. He did a 60 million piece McDonald's Happy Meal promotion. He did a premier Halloween promotion at all Target stores, making a 6.8 million opening order. He's featured in the Wall Street Journal, Forbes, Fortune, and every major newspaper in Arizona, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York Times, and that list goes on. He's listed as Entrepreneur Magazine's fastest growing company in 1999 with Toy Craze hitting 16.6 million that year. And he's the founder of Kula Brands, which has over 4,500 members and has helped over 28 entrepreneurs launch their dream business. I love that. And the list goes on and on of major significant and milestone accomplishments. Peter talks about collaborating to launch your business on the next episode of Revenue Chat. All right. Thanks again, everyone. And until next time, remember, you can make life better for yourself and everyone. Choose wisely.